Hey guys, Mark here. I hope you are well. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate the Genfer knot. The Genfer knot is a distinct Turk's head knot, which has an over one sequence at the center, which forms a nice zigzag pattern. It is best used as a covering knot, and we're going to demonstrate it by using the running method. Now with this said, I haven't found many tutorials on this knot, so I decided to make my own. So join me in taking a look at this knot, then let's tie our own. Here you can see an example of the Genfer knot. As you can see, it has an over one sequence at the center, which forms a zigzag pattern. On the sides, it has an over three sequence. This is the knot that we're going to tie. And again, here you can see the zigzag pattern. And here you can see the knot spread apart, so that it is a bit easier to see the structure of the knot. I must say that it is a nice looking knot. The supplies for tying this knot are the following a mandrel to tie the knot onto. In my case, I'm going to be using a broomstick handle. The broomstick handle is about an inch in diameter. You can also use a pill bottle, you can use a PVC pipe or anything like it. I have attached a rubber band onto my mandrel in order to hold the standing hand of my paracord. As far as the paracord is concerned, I'm going to use about 4 feet of gutted paracord. I'm finally also going to use a lacing needle, which is optional but recommended. With this set, let's take a look at the setup for tying the knot. Before we begin tying the knot, we tuck one end of our paracord under the rubber band, and this is going to be our standing end. The working hand is going to have a lacing needle attached onto it to make the knot tying a bit easier. With this we can begin tying. I'm going to start tying by grabbing my paracord and doing a wrap around around the mandrel. Like this. Pass over the standing hand. Come around again and pass over one more time towards the right side. So I went over one at the front of the knot and over one at the back. Now I'm going to go over two at the front of the knot and over two at the back of the knot. Then I'm going to go over 3 at the front of the knot and over 3 at the back of the knot. Then I'm going to pick up my working end and I'm going to travel under 1 and over 3 at the front of the knot. So under 1, over 3 and coming to the back of the knot. So on the right side of the standing end, I'm going to go under one, over three as well. Like this. Then continue your next sequence. Over one, under one. And over three. And at the back of the knot, over one, under one, and over three. At some point, you need to spread apart the working end and the standing end a little bit just to get a bit more space. Then continue. Traveling under one.
over 1, under 1, and over 3. And at the back of the knot, under 1, over 1, under 1, and over 3. Then, under 2 at the front, over 1, under 1, and over 3. Then, under 2, over 1, under 1, and over 3 at the back. Then we do our final sequence under 3, over 1, under 1, and over 3. We place our working hand right next to the standing hand like this and with this we have finished our knot make sure that you get a nice looking over one sequence at the center and with that your knot is complete to tighten it up we start at the standing end and we pull out the slack and we run it out the working end once we reach it with our slack after tightening up your knot onto an object, you should get a nice looking zigzag pattern. Guys, I hope that you didn't have too much of an issue tying this knot and that I made the tutorial clear enough. Thank you very much for joining me and see you next time.